page 314, reconsideration of subsidiary privileged and incidental motions. Conditions under which subsidiary privileged or incidental motions can be reconsidered depend on what other motions are pending at the time the reconsideration is moved as follows. To reconsider a subsidiary privileged or incidental motion, Reconsideration moved while the main question is pending. When a main motion is pending, with or without a series of adhering motions, and it is moved to reconsider the vote on a related subsidiary privilege or incidental motion, the motion to reconsider becomes A, immediately pending, or B, pending at a lower position in the series, depending on whether the motion proposed to be reconsidered would then be in order if moved for the first time. Referring to case A above, the motion to reconsider becomes the immediately pending question at once if no other motions that would take precedence over the motion proposed to be reconsidered are also pending. C5 and 6, see also the chart on tinted pages 3 to 5, for example, assume that it is moved in seconded, seconded to reconsider a negative vote on a motion to refer the pending main question to a committee. If the main question is now pending alone, or if no other questions are pending except motions to propose, postpone indefinitely or to amend, which rank below the motion to commit, the chair at once states the question on the motion to reconsider as immediately pending. On the other hand, referring to case B above, if a series of motions is pending, with the main question, and one or more of them would take precedence over the related motion whose reconsideration is proposed. The motion to reconsider does not become the immediately pending question when it is moved, but it becomes pending as one of the series at a position corresponding to the rank of the motion proposed to be reconsidered. If such a case, the motion to reconsider is taken up immediately after voting has been completed on all motions, that would take precedence over the motion to be reconsidered if that were pending. For example, suppose that while a motion, a main motion, an amendment, and a motion to lay the pending questions on the table are pending, it is moved to reconsider a previous negative vote on referring the same main question and amendment to the committee. The order of rank from highest to lowest of the four motions is one, lay on the table, two, commit, three, amend, and four, the main motion. This is the order in which these motions would be voted on and the reverse of the order in which they would be made. The procedure in this instance is as follows. The chair takes note of the fact that the motion to reconsider has been made and seconded. Seconded it. Instructing the secretary to record it. He then proceeds to take the vote on the motion to lay on the table. If that motion is lost, he automatically states the question on the motion to reconsider the vote on the referral to the committee. Since the motion to commit is next lower in rank, if the motion to reconsider is adopted, the motion to commit is then reconsidered and voted on again. And if this is lost, the question is then stated on the amendment. If the motion to lay on the table is adopted, then whenever the questions are taken from the table, the immediately pending question is the motion to reconsider. And from this point, the procedure is the same as above. However, if the reconsideration of a primary amendment is moved while another amendment of the same degree is pending, the pending amendment is deposed, disposed of first. Then the chair states the question on the motion to reconsider the amendment previously acted upon. When it is moved, when it is moved to reconsider a debatable subsidiary or incidental motion which relates to a pending main question or a series of pending questions in which case the motion to reconsider is debatable as noted in standard characteristic five debate on the motion to reconsider could go into the merits of the motion proposed to be reconsidered but not into the merits of any other pending question for example in the debate on a motion to reconsider an amendment to the pending main question the merits of the amendment are open to discussion but not those of the main question apart from the amendment to reconsider an adhering subsidiary or incidental motion Reconsideration moved after the main question has been acted upon. If it is desired to reconsider the vote on a subsidiary or incidental motion, an amendment, for example, after the main question to which it adhered has been finally disposed of by adoption, rejection, or indefinite postponement, the vote on the main question or on its indefinite postponement must also be reconsidered. 
See also standard characteristic 2. If such a case, one motion to reconsider should be made to cover both the vote on the subsidiary or incidental motion whose reconsideration is desired and the vote on the main question or its indefinite postponement. The member who makes this motion to reconsider must have voted with the prevailing side in the original vote on the subsidiary or incidental motion, that is, on the motion which will be reconsidered first if the reconsideration takes place. The same principle applies to the reconsideration of a secondary amendment after the related primary amendment has been voted on. If such a reconsideration is desired while the main question is still pending, the primary amendment must also be reconsidered if it is desired to reconsider the secondary amendment after the main question has been finally disposed of. The secondary amendment, the primary amendment, and the main question must all be reconsidered, and one motion to reconsider should be made covering the votes of these three motions. When a motion to reconsider covers the votes on two or more connected motions, not all of these questions can be discussed in debate on the motion to reconsider, but only the one that will be voted on first if the motion to reconsider is adopted. Thus, if the motion is to reconsider, the votes on a resolution, a primary amendment, and a secondary amendment, only the secondary amendment is open to, to debate in connection with debate on the motion to reconsider. If this motion to reconsider is adopted, the chair states the question on the secondary amendment and recognizes the mover of the reconsideration as entitled to the floor. The question is now in exactly the same condition as it was just before the original vote was taken on the secondary amendment. If the main motion is included in a series covered by a single motion to reconsider, as just described, the reconsideration is in order at the same times as if it had been moved to reconsider the main motion alone. If the motion to reconsider is made at a time when it cannot be taken up, it, it, it suspends action in the way described on the pages 310 to 311 and stands until called up subject to the conditions as if it applied only to the main motion. If a motion to reconsider the vote on an adhering a subsidiary or an incidental motion, an amendment, for example, is made after the main question to which it adheres has been either postponed to a certain time or laid on the table, the motion to reconsider is properly noted and is taken up in due course, pages 320 to 21. If and when the main motion is again brought before the assembly, the same is true if the motion to reconsider the adhering subsidiary or incidental motion was made before, but was not called up before the main question was postponed or laid on the table. On the other hand, if the main question is referred to a committee, no motion to reconsider the vote on an adhering a subsidiary or incidental motion is in order while the question is in the hands of the committee. And any such motion to reconsider that was made but not taken up prior to referral is therefore thereafter ignored. Reconsideration and standing in special committees coming up next. But for now, now we know. Now we know. If you try to tell me you didn't the, the reconsideration, you're like, hey, you know, when it comes to, uh, I get the main motions, but when it comes to reconsideration of the subsidiary, privileged and incidental motions, I don't, you do know. You do know. You know how reconsideration of subsidiary, privileged and incidental motions work. How do I know that? Because I just told you. I just explained it to you. That's what the whole goddamn, that's what the whole video, that's what, 